Okay, welcome back. This is going to be my last part. I'm going to make it decently quick because we don't want to wait. Okay, simple as that. So, oh, lag. So, I added more info. It's going to go a lot faster. Right? Because this point, I just want to show you how it works. And I'll upload everything for everyone to use. But you should know PHP. Hopefully. Also, one major mistake I made in the previous video is I forgot to include the connection with the real escape string. It does require it. Okay. So, make sure it's submitted. Get the connection for this. And once we get the username, make it safe. Anti-SQL injectable. We don't need to do it to the password. We're not doing any SQL on it. So, this is just our query. So, this is just going to try to find it. If it doesn't find it, we know the account doesn't exist. Submits it, and we're going to set row equal to MySQL I fetch a soccer result. This will give us two different things. One, if the account exists, row, it's now an array of a, it's an ASOC array of that row. If it doesn't exist, then we're not going to be able to row, row, there's no way we can fetch an ASOC of it, right? So there's no way that can be set. So we can just say that's wrong info right there. But if it does come in, let's get the password. So the set password. Now we need to encrypt our password with the previous password to check to see if they're right. Because the salt in the first 22 characters will give us the code to be able to encrypt it. Alright, perfect. So we encrypt it. And if it's equal, we win. If it's not, once again, wrong info. I don't differentiate between the two because we don't want to let them know when it's wrong. Obviously, you're going to be doing more commands than just echoing. Maybe you're setting sessions or something, but you should know what you're going to do with it because it's your website, not mine. So I can just throw this in. But guess what? We don't have an account. Oh, wait, I made one. <laughs> so let's take a look. I just have a username and a password. Just an auto increment to the ID, too. This password's equal to this, which is just password. So if I type in below random letters, I'm going to get wrong info. But if I type in password, oh, no cap locks. Ah. I'm a winner, right? That works pretty easily, right? Any qu oh, yeah. Never mind. Hmm, I don't need that. Okay. Let's try to hack it. I could send bots to throw in stuff, but my password is going to be more complex than password. It's not going to really contain too much real words and lots of numbers and characters. So, that's out of the situation. What if someone finds a vulnerability and hacks your database? Okay. They stole my database, oh no. They have my username and password. They, they still can't log into my account and do anything. Lol. They, they can't log on. They might be able to manipulate the other tables, but they still can't log on. And in most cases, when the database is compromised, they're not actually in the server. They'll just have a copy of it, so they won't be able to change anything. They'll be like, oh, I got the password. No, you dumb shit. It's encrypted. What if they did get in and they're idiots and they're trying to change the password to, like, yes. Oh my god, I changed it. Now it's yes. No, we're still encrypting it. It's not going to change anything. But one thing that we do win, we win by doing the salts. If they hack one password, they're not going to be able to get them all. Because every single salt changes for every single password. Completely removing the ability for rainbow tables. Not completely. Just it makes them impossibly long and retarded. Right? So now we're password. Yay. I'm a winner. Okay, so that's the end of the tutorial. I'll correct any codes that people have problems with. Um, any questions? Things you want me to expand upon? It's my first more web design tutorial. So... Hope you like you. And I'm out. Just ask me anything.